Again, we'll have to write this as one fraction because basically this changes a division problem into a multiplication problem and we start all over again. Negative 3 times 2 over 4 times 9. I know my answer is going to be negative, so you can choose to do one of two things. Either move, listen, either move the negative up front like I did here, move that negative up front and don't worry about it. Or if you're going to divide by 3, make sure you have a negative 1 up on the top so you don't lose that negative. Dodge your head if you're with me on that. Okay, so here we'll go, okay, 3 goes into both negative 3, negative 1 times, 3 times. 2 goes into both 2 and 4, 1 time, 2 times. Can you tell me my answer out of this? Negative 1 sixth. <coughs> as long as you got that negative, you'll be right. Last thing we got to talk about today, do you remember how to tell if something's a solution or not? Okay, so we do plug it in and we see if it's equal. So what we do here is if I'm asking is negative 9 eighths a solution to this problem, we're taking our negative 9 eighths, substituting in for our variable, and we're seeing if these things are in fact equal. So in our case, we'll have, what's a 2x mean by the way? 2 times. Good, so 2 <coughs> times negative 9 eighths. I'm going to put a little question mark here saying, oh, we don't know if that's equal yet, we've got to do some work on it. How do I do 2 times negative 9 eighths? Okay, so I've got to change to a fraction first. Is our answer over here going to be positive or negative? Negative. Good. So I'll have negative 2 times 9 over 1 times 8. And we're asking, is that the same as negative 9 fourths? What do you think? Yes. Yeah, we'll do some simplification. 2 goes into 2 1 time and into 8 4 times. We get negative 9 fourths. That is equal to negative 9 fourths. Is that a solution or not? Yes. Good. So we're done. Would you raise your hand if you understood what we talked about today? If you're pretty good about this stuff. Good deal.